Good morning to you watching me now. This is Lee Busy with Spanish Made Simple. Today with lesson number 15, I'm going to introduce you to two words in Spanish. Esto versus eso. These two words tend to confuse people a lot in Spanish. Whether you're asking a question, whether you're answering a question, they tend to confuse people. But don't worry, today is going to be clear for you. If you are watching me for the first time, please go back and watch the previous lessons, like lesson number one. They are very interesting. After watching it, if you like what, what you've watched, please subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. And I can guarantee you, you will not regret your decision to subscribe. Esto en eso. We use those words to ask questions in English like, what is this? What is that? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? That's the very basic meaning of those words. This. It would be esto. Meanwhile, that would be eso. Now it's time to to teach you exactly where they are being used or where you should use them. You cannot use one for the other. No, they are completely different, opposite, just the same way they are in English. Esto is used for something close to the person talking or asking the question. It doesn't matter whether you're asking a question or you're answering a question. You have to be selfish. Okay? You have to be selfish. So, if that thing is close to you, you would say esto. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're asking a question or you're answering a question. You, it's, it's up to the person asking, but you're, go, you're going to ask or answer based on your position compared to the thing you, you're asking or answering question for. ¿Qué es esto? I'm asking a question. ¿Qué es esto? That thing I'm asking a question about, what is this? You have to make sure that that thing is close enough to you, like, this mouse, it is close. I will say, what is this? ¿Qué es esto? Because I can reach and reach out and touch it. Okay? The same thing will happen. Let's say both of us, we are close to the same thing you're asking for. If you say, ¿Qué es esto? What is this? And I'm also close to that thing you're asking a question about. I'm just going to use the same thing. I'm going to see. I'm going to say, esto es un lapiz. This is a pencil. Esto es un lápiz. Revisamos. Let's review. What? O qué es esto? What is this? Esto es un lápiz. This is a pencil. Okay. Now, both we are both close to the thing you're asking the question about. That's why we both use esto. Let's continue. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? What is this? I'm asking the question because I'm close to that thing I'm asking the question about. And I would say, I would use esto. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? And the person answering the question is going to do the same thing. They are going to answer the question based on whether they are close or far away from that thing. But since we're talking about we are both close to the thing we're asking the question about, so it's the person is going, to ask, is going to answer with Esto es una carta. This is a letter. This is a letter. Esto es una carta. Let's review. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Esto es una carta. This is a letter. Okay? Now, let's switch now. We're going to switch to the other word. The other word we're going to see today is going to be eso. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to use eso. Eso is used for something that is far away from the person asking or answering the question. 
let's say we are both far away from the thing we're asking the question about. So you are asking the question, you're far away from that thing, and I'm going to answer, I'm also far away from it. We, we, we are both going to use ESO. Is that clear enough? Yes. Let's go ahead now. We need to land, right? It's time to land. Okay. Our first is going to be KS ESO. You're asking the question, you use ESO because you are far away from that thing you're asking the question about. KS ESO. What is that? What is that? KS ESO. What is that? Now, the other person is going to answer, but keep in mind, the other person is also far away from that thing. That's why the person should also use eso. Eso es un carro. Eso es un carro. Eso es un carro. Let's review. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Eso es un carro. That is a car. As simple as that. Okay, let's continue. We have a few, other, few more sentences to help you understand a lot better. Esto. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? So we're still far away from that thing. So that's why we should, all, we should always use eso. As long as we're far, we cannot reach out, touch with our hands, then we say eso. We can point our finger. We can say eso es un regalo. Eso es un regalo. That is a gift. That is a gift because we are both far away from that thing. Eso es un regalo. Eso es un regalo. Let's review now. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Eso es un regalo. That is a gift. Eso es un regalo. Así de simple. Los dos estamos lejos de esta cosa. We are both far away from that thing. Then we use eso. Now, let's say one is close. The person asking is close to that thing and the other person is far away or vice versa. We have to be selfish. You are going to ask based on your position. Each individual will ask or answer based on his or her position regarding the subject. Okay, if you're asking, you are going to be selfish, but I'm answering, I'm going to be selfish too. I'm going to be answering based on my position. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you are close to it, but if I'm far, I'm going to use esto. Okay, is that clear enough? That's how it works. Okay. ¿Qué es esto? So that person is asking the question about something that he's close to. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Now I'm going to answer. I have to answer. Let's say the person is close to that thing, but I'm not close to it. I'm far away from it. So I'm going to use esto. I don't care whether he uses he use the esto. That's his problem. But since I'm far away from it, I'm going to use eso. That's why I would say, eso es un cuchillo. Eso es un cuchillo. That is a knife. That is a knife. Eso es un cuchillo. Let's review now. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Eso es un cuchillo. That is a knife. Now, let's pretend that the person asking the question is far away from that thing, but I am close to it. 
So the person is gonna is gonna use eso. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Because that person asking the question is far away from that thing. But since I'm close to it, I don't care whether that person has used eso, but I'm going to use esto because I'm close to it. Okay? Is that clear enough? Okay. The person asks a question with ¿Qué es eso? Now I'm going to answer because that thing is close to me or have it in my hands. I'm going to say esto es un libro. Esto es un libro. This is a book. Let's review now. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Esto es un libro. This is a book. Is it easy? I hope it is easy for you. If you found it easy, please give us a like, subscribe, share. When you share, you help me. That's the most important thing. Please help me share it so more people can actually see it and learn with us. Okay? That was a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful day too. Take care. See you for the next lesson.